place crawling, getting under your skin, that could have been me before Christ. So treat them the same way as if they're in Christ. Treat them with his love. Amen. You'll look at people differently. You'll look at circumstances differently. If you'll step back and say, I see what I see with this eye, but what do I see with the eyes of the Spirit? What do I see is going on spiritually in the background, in me and in that other person, or in the circumstance, okay? Amen. I'm going to finish there. My pocket keeps buzzing me. That's my alarm. <laughs> I chose to do a different method today instead of look at my watch every couple of minutes. <laughs> All right. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you will consider this word today, and I hope it will be a blessing to you. Don't let the devil drive you. Instead, let's go with Jesus, and let's drive the devil. Let's drive him back to hell where he belongs. Come on now. That's our job. He's not the tormentor. He'll torment you if you allow him to, but our job is to torment the devil. Why else did God leave us here then, if it wasn't to torment the devil? In other words, drive him out of our life, drive him out of the lives of those around us, drive him out of other people's lives. Amen? That's tormenting the devil. That's sending him back to hell. Because that's really where he belongs. Amen? Him and all the six-letter words that he can come up with. <laughs> Amen, that's it. <laughs>